Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we have a little Tron coin news, and of course, we're going to pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. Be back in a bit. All right, real quick, if you happen to be new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. I give away Bitcoin every Friday, so um, you're not too late. You can enter to win in next week's video when that comes out, but only way you're going to be notified is if you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all right? So do that real quick before we move on, and uh, let's get into the news. All right, first bit of news, Tron, Stellar, Lumens, and Cardano rise by more than 15%. All coins rule the market. Um, the only one we really care about is Tron at the bottom. Uh, another cryptocurrency riding the bullish wave was Tron, which is trading at 0.022. I think it's a little higher now. We'll check that in a little bit. At the time of writing, the cryptocurrency was rising at a rate of 15.74% with a total market cap of $1.457 billion. Just like Stellar Lumens, most of the Tron's trade volume came from Binance, where the TRX BTC pairing held an 11.9% majority. In addition, the coin was recently listed on KuCoin and BitBay. The coin was also listed on Bitrix with a U.S. dollar pairing, making uh, marking it as the first fiat pairing in the U.S. The other bit of Bit, uh, Tron news, uh, BitTorrent is the Jerusalem for decentralized internet spirit. Uh, recently, Justin Sun, the CEO and founder of Tron Foundation, posted a blog on Twitter regarding the recent DApp development meetup. Uh, the keynote speakers for the meetup were Li Zhidong, I believe that's how you say that, head of Tron DApp, Minoka Kojima, the CEO of Zionavo, <laughs> like technology company, I'm guessing, and Wu Zhao, a computer science graduate from the University of Alberta, Chin Hao, head of China Bit Guild. During the meetup, the head of Tron DApp uh, spoke about the recent projects and compliments of Tron Foundation. While speaking about BitTorrent, the biggest decentralized open source ecosystem, the foundation stated on their blog, BitTorrent is the Jerusalem the sacred place for decentralized internet spirit. It is seen as a birthplace for decentralized technologies by global developers, entrepreneurs, and decentralized internet community. It is also a pioneer of the internet protocols that seek to open, transparent, and decentralized. Um, the foundation firm, the acquired BitTorrent in the month of July, uh, reportedly acquired for $140 million. Uh, this is considered to be one of the biggest acquisitions of the cryptocurrency space. BitTorrent is currently a part of the foundation's Project Atlas. The project is set to make the torrent platform faster, along with increasing the lifespan of the swarms. The foundation has further stated that they will be helping developers build better products and pave pathway for more traffic. The foundation also aims to enable developers to earn more money in the future, in the meantime, the foundation's all-in decentralization will be executed. During the meetup, the head of the Tron DAP ecosystem claimed that Tron will work towards supporting developers worldwide. They are planning on achieving this by using their tools, including the Tron Virtual Machine, which were launched recently, Tron Box, Tron Studio, Tron Web, and Tron Impura. He continues to say, continued to say, Additionally, Tron will support developers with mechanisms such as continuous strategic patience, equity investment, ecosystem in incubation, I guess that's supposed to be incubation, incubation, product diversion, one-to-one -one special cooperation, currency investment, and competition incentives. Uh, moreover, TRX has seen significant growth in terms of price of cryptocurrency market, uh, blah, blah, blah. We just went over that. So Tron right now, let me refresh this. Two hundred twenty-seven billion market cap that keeps climbing, and Ethereum did jump back over Ripple. It was below it briefly for one moment, and here we are, Tron point zero two five. That's up twenty-seven percent today, guys. Good news for Tron. I hold a good amount of Tron, so that's always good. XRP forty-three percent. 
that should be the highest Mona coin. Look at that, 60%. Tron's in third there with 27. Stellar, fifth, 20.8%. Good news, good day on the uh, cryptocurrency market. All right, um, let's, let's pick a winner real quick, guys. Here's Bitcoin Fridays, the enter to win video. So let's copy this URL right here. Head over to the random comment picker, paste that in, let me move me, click search. Bunch of comments on this one, Five, 722 unique commenters, it's a lot. I tried to go through and weed out the ones who did not enter the total value mine, but for the most part everyone did, so it should come up that... Uh, it picks somebody who didn't enter that. I will just continue and move on. Uh, again, I do this every week, guys, so don't worry about it if you don't win, all right? So with that, good luck, everybody, and let's pick a winner. Arturo Padberg, thanks for the upload. Keep it up. Well, congratulations, Arturo. Copy your address, paste it in here, click send. All right, buddy. Arturo, if you could, below this video, comment and let me and everyone else know that you did, in fact, get your Bitcoin. All right. Again, congratulations. All right. So finally, let's look over um, last week's stats. Uh, we ended up with 21.72 prior week, 21.24, so we uh, we were up. I didn't put that here, but it's about 0.5%. Uh, ended up with 3,650 Stellite mined, 586 Elliott coin mined, and 1.63 Ethereum Classic, giving us $21.72. Ended up with the total value mine as of last night at 10 o'clock, 581.61. So not bad, not bad at all. So far this week, uh, with a nice spike overnight, $2.43 so far mine, but the total value mine has gone up to six fourteen. So that is a 14, it's about $33 spike overnight in total value mine. So that was not a, uh, not a bad evening, if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, we got we still holding all these coins, guys. I'm waiting, just waiting for that market to go back up. Approaching 50,000 stellite. I'm going to stop um, on Elliott coin once it hits a thousand. I'm going to stop that and go back to uh, micro Bitcoin. For those of you who are wondering, it is back on subscriber pool and working again. So um, that video, if you want to look on how to uh, mine micro Bitcoin, it should be popping up here. Maybe previously in the video. Maybe I'll put it up a little. So uh, I guess with that, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. I would appreciate that as well. All right. Again, Arturo, uh, if you could comment below this video and let everyone know that you did, in fact, get the Bitcoin, I would appreciate it. All right, guys. And with that, you guys have yourself a nice weekend. Take care.